right, we're doing a luggage read of someone very famous. She's an Australian fashion blogger. She has 400,000 hits per month on her blog. She's none other than the amazing, beautiful fashion blogger Willabelle Ong, also known as Will Amazing or KillDivision.com. Mm -hmm. So we're very excited because she's here visiting in Singapore and we managed to grab her and her luggage for a luggage read. So we'll just be like seeing what's in her luggage and yeah, and if you like what's in her luggage, she's not going home with her luggage today. She's going to make off with them. Hi, Willabelle. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, nice, to, nice to meet you. Welcome to Singapore. Thank you. Mm. Okay, so what shops have you visited here in Singapore? Um, I visited like Topshop, Forever 21, H&M, Zara, because we all we don't have that like in Perth. So how do you all? live? Yeah, I guess I don't live. <laughs> Where do you shop? Um, I just buy stuff online, I guess. Who you say is your fashion inspiration? I like Anna Della Rosso. She's an editor of like Vogue Japan, I think. Mm. Her style's a bit like loud, crazy, like I don't care who looks at me kind of thing. So I guess that's like kind of translating to my style. My personal sense of style is like all over the place. Mm -hmm. I like clashing colours and like prints, so like stripe on stripe or floral on floral. How would you describe, um, you know, the sense of style in Australia? In Perth, it's very like laid back. Right now, I think it's like very hipster, like those big glasses and then beanies and big sweaters. Let's start reading your luggage. Okay. This um, would be like my makeup. Um, I like it because it's like really compact. This is one of my favourite blushes. It's got like a compact mini brush inside. So it's very like handy. But I like about this is because it's very like pigmented. It's quite cheap. It's like 20 something. Can you get it in Singapore? Yeah, you can get it at Watson's actually. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Or Sephora. I'm pretty sure they have it. And I use um, Benefit foundation because it doesn't break me out like others. Another one of my travel essentials would be my Benefit lipstick. Um, I usually bring flats because I walk a lot, like mm -hmm. especially when I go like shopping or something. And I just got back from Bangkok, so heels is not really like recommended. So how many pairs of shoes do you have? Um, I'm not sure, like 200 something. Oh my goodness! <laughs> what? Where do you keep them? I put them in my wardrobe, like you have I just like chuck them. Daddy. I don't have enough shoes, Daddy. <laughs> this was from La Cambra, I think, and it was sponsored by some US boutique. It's real leather, so it smells very nice. I know when I have, when I get new yeah, leather, yeah, you just goods, like you know, smell just... it, like even yeah. shoes, right? Yeah. No. Are, are we crazy? Yes. <laughs> I smell my shoes like. <laughs> this was also sponsored, so it's like quite interesting because it's like class by itself, and the colors nice. So like because you know you have limited luggage space, mm. so what's your like defining? criteria for what bags you bring? Usually I bring like one neutral coloured bag and then one coloured one so in case like my outfit's very like neutral I'll just need like a pop of colour or something or if it's too much then I'll just use the neutral coloured one. This is one of my other bags. I think it's mm -hmm. quite um, versatile. Yeah, I mean I've seen a lot of online shops selling it. Yeah. Um, there's like Missy Pixie, Elska mm -hmm. and even Epicurations. And this is my perfume that I use, Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Let's move on to clothes. So I think these were sponsored. They're from the Finders Keepers label. And I brought colours, a coloured shirt from Editor's Market. And then this was also sponsored. I think it's like roughly $40. This was sponsored by the Editor's Market. So this is their in-house label. So would you say more than half your wardrobe is sponsored? I think maybe three quarters at the moment is sponsored. But it's time for everyone to be a fashion blogger. <laughs> <laughs> this is a reversible jacket. It's like a quilted bomber. I got it for offer, $35 I think. And then there's like striped pants. This is also from the editor's market. I like it because it's like very different, like the straps are very thin. I was going to match this with the striped pants. This is another top I got from Sports Girl. But I like it because it's very colourful mm -hmm. and I wear a lot of shirts. This is a leather skirt, it was sponsored as well. I really like it because it's like quilted. It's got zips but you can't really use them as pockets. I got this from Bangkok. I think this is like $20. Yeah, I pretty much bought these two from Platinum, that's all. Do you expect to be shopping a lot in Singapore and Bangkok? I wanted to like shop a lot but I haven't found anything I really wanted to buy. Oh, so you haven't bought anything from Singapore? Not really. We bring you shopping after we yeah. come through. <laughs> and I brought like Sunnies. Are those Melissa's? Yeah. It's oh. the Vivian Westwood and yeah. Melissa ones. So they're like very comfy. How do you determine like what accessories to bring? My accessories are usually like very neutral colours, so like gold or silver. I got this from Bangkok actually. Wow. Yeah. Statement piece. This was like less than fifteen dollars. This was from the editor's market. Mm-hmm. Really well you're holding back on us. I see like a personalized LV over there. <laughs> this is actually personalized. I waited like two months for it though. I paid for it first and then I had to wait um, for eight weeks. How much was it? Um, Do I want to know how much you want? <laughs> <laughs> I think I paid um, 1,800 1, Aussie. 
but you have to pay a bit more for like the personalized. You have to actually go into a shop and then they'll take you through like the colors and then what color you want it inside. So I got mine pink inside. Oh, you personalized it inside yeah. as well. Thanks so much for coming down and spending time with us. You know, I've always been following Eva Labelle on her blog <laughs> and on her Instagram. And I know to see her for the first time in real life, it's like, oh. And she's so friendly and nice. And Everyone's been really nice. Like Singapore's been very friendly, mm -hmm. which is nice lot. We've come to the end of the episode and we hope you've enjoyed getting to know, you know Willa Bell Ong a little bit more. And uh, for more of her, you can check out the links below. If you want us to rate the wardrobes of any other fashion personalities, leave a comment in the box below. And meanwhile, which one you want? Alright, I think Willa Bell, I think it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you take the one, okay, like, you can take all the clothes, but I want the bag. Okay, I fine. I'll stick over the right. W-O. <laughs> taking this. Bye! <laughs> Bye, guys.